Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gary GZ Duels, and I'm here today to bring you guys a duel using the Blue Eyes deck, and uh, recently wanted to play this deck because it's out, and I ran out of deck ideas, so I thought, hey, why not, let me just experiment with something like this. Uh, this type of deck, it's a structured deck, so it's accessible to everyone, so if it turns out it's like super OP, then, you know, uh, it's pretty good, because like a lot of people, um, including myself, I could probably pick it up, so um, I'm facing against a gadget player, and uh, He's got so much advantage right now. He's like, he didn't lose anything. He gets a free um, Gear Gigant X. And looking at my hand, I can't do anything to the Gear Gigant X. So during his turn, he's probably going to plus one. And uh, it's just unfair. So <laughs> it's cool. It's a good start. You know, like all gadgets uh, in the beginning, if they have some sort of broken combo where they can get into like uh, Gear Gigant X, basically they don't lose anything. So, yep, like I said, he's going to use Gear Gigant's effect in order to search for... Uh, gear frame and gear frame is also just one of those broken cards because you can just use that and then get a plus one again so it's just instant plus ones and he's going to for some reason this is like a questionable move like for some reason he's using mst on the summon so it's not like he can like prompt any chains in fact if if it's like okay if he hits like a bottomless or something and i can still chain it in response to a summon so it's actually not that good to chain mst on a summon so um regardless he's going to attack me uh, i think he just dead set on getting rid of this um blue eyed maiden so i'm going to use maiden's effect to special summon out uh blue eyes i put it in defense position because uh, it has 2500 defense so it's probably not going to get destroyed um <clears throat> sorry so um machina gear uh, machina Fortress can't commit suicide with it, and so he won't be able to have that option. And when it's my turn, if I wanted to attack, I can just simply turn the blue eyes into attack mode. So I felt that that was a safe move to make. So I'm going to turn blue eyes into attack mode, and I'm not going to attack either one of his face-up attack position monsters. Instead, I'm going to get rid of the gear frame for a couple of reasons. He has three back row, I have one forbidden lance, so I'm expecting to be using lance. And like I like I expected, he's going to use dimension uh, fissure, and if I use lance on my blue eyes white dragon, it goes to 2002 under attack so it won't be high enough for either of the face up attack position monsters uh, but other than that I wanted to get rid of uh, gear frame because he could equip gear frame onto like fortress and then fortress would have like a second life so that would extremely suck so I needed to get rid of that and then main phase 2 I'm going to summon my level 1 tuner and then go into the uh, synchro summoning of the silver dragon <coughs> excuse me I'm going to summon silver dragon and uh, with the uh, White Stone Legend, I wanted to get Blue Eyes to my hand as well, but he's going to use Void Trap Hole. So he's using some interesting uh, traps right away. Void Trap Hole is definitely a pretty cool uh, card. It gets to negate the effect, so um, it can be quite useful sometimes. Um, I'm not in a very good situation right now. I have two Call of the Haunted, I guess. I think that's okay. Um, but I make a lot of a misplay. I, I make a big misplay right here, and I'll walk you guys through it. So... <coughs> It's in battle phase, he's going to attack, and uh, instead of um, using the Call of the Haunted for something like uh, Silver Dragon, I use it on Blue Eyes White Dragon, and uh, he's going to attack into my Blue Eyes, and I was like, he probably has something like, I don't know, um, he probably has something like Decrease Increase Attack, so like Prideful Roar, uh, I thought it was something like... Uh, uh, what is that thing called? Limiter removal, but it isn't. So um, I can't use the. Um, I actually can't use my so uh, my honest because if I use my honest chain link two, uh, I will increase the attack first, and then his prideful roar will resolve, and uh, prideful roar will just increase the attack that was lost uh, that was gained by honest. So <coughs> over here, I summoned out Azure Eyes. Uh, I should have summoned it out when his gear frame, uh, when his fortress was attacking, thereby him attacking into my Azure Eyes, and then uh, I would be able to use Honest, and then his gear frame wouldn't be able to destroy my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon because my Azure Eyes is protected by its own effect when it's special summoned. Uh, over here, he makes a misplay. He wanted to get rid of Azure Eyes, not knowing that you know his effect prevents him from being destroyed by card effects until the end of next turn. So it's actually um, a misplay on his part as well. So I'm glad that that happened, but I'm not very glad to take the 2,500 damage. Um, regardless, I draw into uh, Trade-In, which is good. I'm going to just try to run down his monsters. I'm going to attack, and uh, he doesn't have a response for this attack. I'm going to attack with Blue Eyes, and he responds with... Um, <coughs> He responds with D-Prison, so I was like, okay, um, unless you have a way to get rid of the Azure Eyes next turn, uh, which he probably could, 
if he just attacks with like Machina gear frame, but like I guess yeah, I guess it was an okay move. I guess it was pretty good. Um, so he's gonna commit suicide with it. Uh, I have honest, so that's too bad for him. He's going to have to destroy the Azure Eyes using Monster Effect, and then he's gonna get in one thousand two hundred damage. But it's all right, still all good. Um, the pluses that he gained in the beginning somehow didn't translate very well into uh, late game advantage. So don't know what happened, but um, I'm glad that it happened. So I used Power Duality. I'm gonna get Silver's Cry. I'm not gonna use it this turn. Uh, I'm gonna summon out the um, Maiden with the blue eye with the eyes of blue, and then set the Silver's Cry. The reason why I set Silver's Cry is because in case he's going all in, he's gonna revive all like his uh, fortress back and whatever. Then um, and he's gonna X Y Z summon using his gadgets. Then I still have a backup plan. I still have a blue eyes in the in the graveyard, so I will still have that 1, uh, 3,000 attack or like 2,500 shield. Uh, it should be okay. I'm just double checking, and Maiden will be able to special summon out a blue eyes from the deck, so I will have two blue eyes. If he summons out like, um, I don't know, if he summons out like gear frame, uh, fortress like he does right now, uh, it doesn't seem like he has another one, so I should be able to survive this turn <laughs> with the help of uh, Silver's Cry. So he's going to activate Maxi, and I don't know why he activated preemptively, but I'm going to use Silver's Cry. So chain link to Silver's Cry, I'm going to resolve that first, special summon blue eyes, and he actually doesn't get to draw. So I think that was a bit of a misplay on his part. Um, over here, he could basically just um, attack, but then either way, I will keep a blue eyes on the field. So he's going to go for a cowboy, which is an okay move, I think. Um, what he can do is use Cowboy and Crash with the Blue Eyes on the field. But he didn't do that. He, ins he instead wanted to use Fortress Dragon, uh, the, the Fortress, to get rid of my Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is kind of weird. Uh, I mean, he leaves my Maiden, and uh, I draw into another Silver's Cry, so I think I, re I, I got this game. So for so somehow I got this game because, I don't know, I think my opponent was just like misplaying. I think what he should have done was crashed with uh, the Cowboy and then left his Fortress on the field and my Maiden on the field. As long as he doesn't attack the Maiden, you know, nothing will really happen. Next turn, of course, I'll draw into Silver's Cry, but then, you know, I can't really do much. I can special summon out this uh, Silver Dragon, but then it would be in defense, he would still get to keep his uh, Fortress. But instead, right now, he top deck into a Dark Hole, doesn't do anything, and he's forced to surrender. I hope you enjoyed this duel. This is GaryGZDuels, signing out.